Most people in America are looking for how do I make for me a life worth living and eventually get to a retirement worth having where I'm not working into my ancient age as I age with hopefully grace and style. And aging with grace and style means staying a little bit with it in your clothing, paying attention to what the youth are wearing, not at all, but paying attention to what professionals do. You see, you're no longer 20 and you shouldn't be trying to behave that way. But the question I have for you is, what is your inheritance? As a pastor, as a priest, as a minister, I'm asking you the question of what is your earned inheritance? In other words, what gifts did God give you of your own accord? What spirit did he breathe into your soul saying, this is you? These are the gifts I bestow upon you this time around in the karmic expression of your soul. Because when the body dies, the soul allegedly ascends to heaven or descends to hell. So how did you live your life is a question that Jesus Christ is the only one in heaven that is allowed to ask you. And I want you to think about Jesus Christ Superstar and how Herod started to ask the questions in sort of rhythmic rhyme and music. Who do you think you are? I believe that's sort of what that Pearly Gates experience is like. Now, we've had plenty of movies about heaven, about earth, about angels, about rescues, about people being saved because of how they tell their stories about how they were about in peril and someone came along that looked so surreal that you knew they were part of God and not a part of anything else. I've had that experience once or twice. I know my father saved our lives and that he could have been bowled over by a truck when we were I was probably 13 because he took the time to double check his situation in the car he pulled over after that and said we could have just been killed and i think he was sort of relishing in the fact that he made the right decision to double check it was sort of a blind corner it's sort of at an angle at 421 and i think it's 38 i can never remember that cross street that we go across to cut out time to get on 65 in the back roads my father was so superb at making a way of being more efficient in his driving and careful that he wasn't blasting through little towns where some child could run out. He was very good about that up until his practically 80s, I think, or maybe it was late 70s when I said, no more driving, Dad, you just clipped a car and a Cadillac at that, and we don't need the lawsuit as a family. It was me who said no more driving, and it was the other siblings that were not pleased, but I didn't give a shit. What I cared about was the safety of my father's life, the safety of my mother's life, and the safety of any other person's life if he wasn't able to control the vehicle the same. From that time on, I said, Mom, you're driving. No more Dad driving. And I think my dad appreciated that because he had driven them as a man of his age and station and generation would drive his wife. Now, what I'm asking you is, what is your inheritance? What is your inheritance is, what do you earn? What did you earn for your life? What did you choose for your life? Because, motherfucker, every day you choose or you don't choose. And if you're participating in stealing from people, then you're choosing to go to hell. If you're participating in stealing from God's house and the graces that he bestows upon other people's intellect, other people's spirit, other people's creativity, other people's writing work, other people's artistic work, then you have failed yourself. Because you didn't commit yourself to God saying, God, I need to do this work and I need to know where I'm going, what my direction be, and how I can bring out the best of me.